everybody how's it going welcome back let's talk about child themes uh, what are child themes how to use them how to make them and how to get started making WordPress site awesome by using child themes which child themes what they are is basically the the appropriate way of customizing your theme that you have so you could take a theme like 2016 and customize it add files add functions, add CSS, change header template files, change your single blog post files, etc, etc. You can customize your WordPress theme that you're using and basically it's a child theme that takes on the parents foundation so that when you go and upgrade and update, I mean update your, uh, your, your parent theme like 2016, when you go and update that all your changes in your child theme remain there and they also will override those new updates. So let me just show you how they work and how you use them. Real quick example, let's say that you wanted to come in here and start adding things to your, your header. Let's say your theme doesn't come with a place so that your header, your phone number st stays up on top or something like that, okay? And you want to go into your header PHP file and make some HTML changes and place some content in there. Well, you wouldn't want to go to your parent theme and go to the header PHP file, take that and make edits to it and put it right back into the parent theme. Because what, what happens is when you update your parent theme, all those changes get deleted and overridden. So if you create them in a child theme, that will not happen. So let me show you how this works. And that's actually quite easy. Let's go over here and let's come to my themes and you'll see that I have, right now I'm running 2016 on this example website you'll see that I have 2015 and I already have a child theme built for 2015 and that's how that's kind of how it would look like this child theme that I have has these for these files in it it has a function PHP file it has a CSS file and those are the two files that you use to get started and to get running you could also add a screenshot which is this image right here you could also add an images directory and other directories if you want. What you want to do is create a new folder called and name it the name of your child theme. So we're going to do a new folder. We will we want to go to our themes and create a new directory. And we're going to call this 2016 child. And basically we're going to open this up in our text editor. And in here we are going to create a new file. This is going to be our CSS file. So let's take a moment to come over to the WordPress codex and I'll show you in here how to create a child theme. You can come in here and learn more about it. We want to create a CSS file and in the CSS file it needs some information. <clears throat> now it doesn't really need all this information. A lot of this extra information is if you are creating custom themes that you might put on the marketplace and stuff and you need a whole lot more information like where your site is, lives where they could buy it, the author, and even more tags and stuff like that. So you don't need all that. So I basically have the shortened version that I use. And these are commented out. Okay, so place these in comment tags. So I have my theme name, which is 2016 child. The description, 2016 child theme, or whatever description you want. Okay, so whatever description you want there is fine. Author, whoever's making this, if it's you, then you may put your name there is fine. The template is 2016. Okay, so this has to read the same, exactly the same as your parent theme. All right, so this is calling in your parent theme. So uh, caps, uh, capitals, and stuff like that matter. So make sure that this is written out exactly the same. If you're finding that something's not working out, this is probably the first place that you should check to make sure it's working. We are going to save this as a style that CSS file. So now here you can create all your CSS and it will overwrite it. And that is all you need actually to have a child theme. So now we have to create a functions PHP file. Okay, so we're gonna come and create a new file. And it used to be that to call the parent the parent CSS you would just have to come to your CSS file import your parent theme styles but that's no longer the correct way to do it okay so let's just not do that so in some old tutorials you might see that that is definitely the, the outdated way to do it and so now the way to do it is to add them into a functions PHP file right 
So if we come back to the codex, you'll remember that we have to have a functions PHP file in there as well. Okay. So what so what we're going to do is now we're going to call in our parent style sheet with the function. Okay. And all we need to do is take this one right here, and we're going to copy that. We're going to add it into a new file. Okay. And this is basically the start of your functions PHP file. So we're going to save this as functions.php. It's going to it's going to enqueue the styles of the parent style, and it's going to look in the parent directory, and it's going to look for style.css. Okay, so basically, if you have your 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 theme set up with a parent and you make a child theme it's going to recognize this as a child theme it's going to recognize this as its parent okay so it's going to call the parent style and it's going to get the template directory and then go to the style.css so there's not really much you have to change here if we go into our our directory directory you'll see that we now have a functions PHP and a style.css let's go into our WordPress and update this. Our 2016 child theme is not coming in just. All right, as you're seeing, uh, if I refresh, this theme isn't showing up. My child theme for 2016 is not showing up. If you come into our functions PHP, everything's set up. Okay, this is going to call the parent theme and it's going to look for the CSS style as long as it's in the, the main directory. Okay, so this is set up right. And this is set up right, but remember I told you to make sure to check the spelling of your parent theme. And this one is actually spelled this way. Okay, that is the correct name of the theme. If you go into the themes file folders, you'll find that out. Okay, so we're going to save this, come back into our WordPress dashboard, and refresh it. And there we go. There's our 2016 child theme, okay? And we're going to go ahead and activate it. We're going to come to our site and see how it looks. And it works. And so if we didn't have functions PHP, this first function, we have to have a functions PHP function. Okay, so let's just get rid of this and let's save this, all right? And we come back to our, our site and refresh it. And you'll see it's just all HTML. It's not pulling in the styles from the parent theme. So this is why the very first function you need in your functions PHP file is this one. Okay, and so and everything else could come after that. Down here is where you would add all your extra functions. So let's come and test that our CSS file is working, okay? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna refresh this and get our styles back. And let's come into let's come into here into the header. And find out what they're using for site header. You can see they're using site header main. Let's see, class is site header, okay? And let's say we want to come down here. We're just going to test this out here. I'm going to go site. I'm going to do background color, I mean, sorry. Background color. And let's give this an aqua look. Okay, so we're going to see this, we should see this style work in our CSS. We're gonna do, just gonna copy this and come into our CSS folder and get started making our. You know, we could always change this. That's what we want to do. You know, we could always do a padding now. Let's change that too as well. Let's see what happens. And our background color. Now we're gonna save. And we're gonna get here. Now we're gonna refresh. And the styles are there. You can see that it has taken away the padding and has made the background aquamarine and we know our new CSS file is working. So now we could just go to town with changing CSS and adding all kinds of CSS, CSS transitions and animations and whatever customizations you want here. Okay. And so let's get rid of this because you know we just can't do such stuff. And there it goes. See? So we know that works. Uh, you could go in, make an image of your of your new child theme. Basically, what you usually do is create your child theme, make it look the way you want it to look, take a snapshot of it, kind of like this one. Let's take a snapshot, and then that goes into your main directory, 
it would just go right in here and you would call that let's see, go to my child 15 my 2015 child theme and you call that screenshot.png okay you could um, make it any other kind of file you want but it needs to be in your main uh, in your main directory screenshot.png and it will pick it up uh, I'm gonna have some more videos on child themes and how to create custom files later on but basically if you want to create a new header PNG you would go into your parent theme copy that header PNG file or PHP file uh, place it in here and edit that okay you can take out things add things save it under your point into your child folder and that will override your parents theme file which is pretty neat so we're gonna talk about that in the next video make sure you subscribe rate and I will catch you in the next one Aloha.